Hey everyone, welcome back to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, July 5th, 2015. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and the Keshi experiments continue. After looking at my last video, my first video in the series here, um, I felt that it kind of left perhaps a bad taste in my, mouth, my own mouth uh, regarding my attitude or opinion towards Maren Keshi, or Maren Kesh, how I pronounce his last name. Um, I don't want anybody to get the idea that I dislike the man. I think he's a really wonderful guy. Um, first of all, he was born in 1958. I mean, he's already got that going for him. I was born in 1958, too. Um, he's got a good sense of humor. He has a wonderful ethos regarding the transition of society into a totally decentralized system of power. Um, I mean, he has, he's thought it through. He has thought it all the way through. And uh, he may well be remembered as one of the great philosophers of our century because um, he really has given us a very clear roadmap to as smooth a transition as possible into a society that could possibly have limitless free energy. Whether he has given it to us or not is irrelevant. Um, the fact that he has given us the roadmap may in and of itself be as great a contribution as the free energy itself. So I just wanted to get that out there, and uh, Marin, if, if you're watching this, please understand this is not a personal attack against you, but it is an attack against scams, and if it, it is a scam, I will expose it. That's, that's basically the bottom line. So what I've done here is I've made a homebrew CO2 collector. I've got uh, a piece, a wooden stand here that used to be a bicycle stand that... Uh, would scratch off the paint off my recumbent bike now and I won't use it anymore so I repurposed it put a little plank of wood cut a slot in it have a funnel sitting at the top I've got a ball valve at the bottom with some with some plastic tubing and I'm able to use this to allow the uh, CO2 GANS precipitate to collect at the very bottom of the funnel uh, every once in a while I just have to tap it a couple of times to get the rest of it to fill into the tube and then allow it to flow into my collection bottle. This is a, a, uh, a repurposed vodka nip bottle, 50 milliliter vodka nip bottle that's been very carefully rinsed out, please be assured. And um, right now I've gone through the second rinse process of the precipitate that I created last night. Now I'm not, I'm not calling this precipitate a quality precipitate precipitate, how I pronounce it, um, of CO2 gain because it does have a light blue tinge to it. And I, I expect that that is because most of the nano coating fell off of my copper plate when I connected the two electrodes together. And uh, I, I do have to go through the process now of properly nano coating all of my copper plates with the caustic method. I'm not looking forward to that, but I, I will do what I have to do. I'm going to do this replication faithfully. Uh, so this is the second washing. I'm sort of just going through the motions to get the, the process down. And I've gone through the second washing of what I did end up with. And uh, it looks pretty good, actually. So uh, maybe there will be some use to this precipitate or not, but we'll find out. In any event, I just wanted to show, show the uh, methodology for collecting CO2 GANs in a uh, solution of distilled water so that you can use it in later experiments in the um, plasma reactor. That's all for now. Thank you all for watching. As always, please rate, share, comment, subscribe, and enjoy my videos. Peace, everyone.
Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, July 5th, 2015, and I've already begun the process of trying, and that, that sounds like crap. Uh, let's try this again. Hey everyone, welcome back to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, March, March, 